section two five. That distributive property. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the distributive property. The objective to use the distributive property to simplify expressions. That's what we're going to do. We're going to simplify expressions using the distributive property. What is it then? Well, before we start doing this, let's just look at multiplication. Let's not forget what multiplication is. Remember that 5 times 3 is just 5 threes. It's, it's you know, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, 5 times. So if you see 5 times 2 plus 3, it's just 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3. Oh, one more plus two plus three. You end up having one, two, three, four, five twos, and one, two, three, four, five, three. So we get five of both of those guys, right? Five of both of them. Let's see what the distributive property says. The distributive property of multiplication with respect to respect to addition says this. The A distributed over this addition. Um will give you A times the sum B plus C is the same thing as A times B plus A times C. Well, let's think about this. 3 times 4 plus 5, well, we know it's 3, 4 plus 5. Is it's, it's 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5 plus 4 plus 5, which is the same thing as 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is the same thing as 3 fours and 3 fives which is what we're saying, three fours plus three fives. Cool. Let's double check if it works. Five and four is nine. Nine times three is 27. Let's see, what's 12 plus 15? Ah, 27. So we get 27 here, 27 here. Let's check it the other way. Um, six plus two times eight. It's eight six plus twos. So, you know, what you'll have is, Mm -hmm -hmm. This is like going the other way, saying the same thing. B plus C times A is the same thing as B times A plus C times A. So my B here would be 6, right? So B times A is like 6 times 8. C times A, C times A is like 2 times 8. Let's double check this. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 16. Oh, man, 48, 58, and 6 is 60. Wow, what did I just say? 58 and 6, 4. Let's see, and 6 plus 2, 8 times 8, 64. Nice! Uh, sweet. Let's keep going. Now look, I got 5A plus 2B is what it's saying, okay? Well, I know I could use the distributive property, but remembering what, you know, just what multiplication is, it's saying I have five of these. I have A plus 2B plus, that's one of them, plus another A plus 2B, plus another A plus 2B, plus another A plus 2B, plus another A plus 2B. So what I really have is A plus A plus A plus A plus A plus 2B plus 2B plus 2B plus 2B plus another 2B. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 A's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 B's, okay? Now that's what we'd have to do if we didn't have distribution. But we have distribution, so I can just go, I can just distribute, right? I can say, oh, I can do 5 times A plus 5 times B, can I? I mean, sorry, 5 times look, 2B. And I get 5A plus 10B, right? I just do 5 times A, 5A, 5 times 2B. Here again, I can write, write this as 3 times 2X plus 3 times 4. Makes life a lot easier. Look at that. 6X plus 12. Who's the man now? You are. You're the man or the woman or the person who knows how to do distribution. That makes you cool. The coolest. Tell your friends. Tell your foes. They'll be afraid. Now, the distributive product of multiplication with respect to subtraction is saying the same thing, man. A times B minus C is the same thing as AB minus AC. Let's check it out. Let's see. 3 times 2 minus 1. Oh, let's make it even. Let's, yeah, let's keep it like that. It should be the same thing as 3 times 2. Minus 3 times 1. Let's see if it works. Well, 3 times 1 is 3, right? This becomes a 1, right? I get 3. Let's see if that's the same thing. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus 3 is 3. Worked. Let's try it this way. Um, 12 minus 5 
times 6. Should be the same thing as 12 times 6 minus 5 times 6. Well, what is 12 times 6? Get us 72 minus 30 gives us 42. Let's see what this is. 12 minus 5 is 7 times 6. Wow! It's the end of my multiplication table sometimes. It works! Now, it's nice here because, I, um, you know, you can see this with the symbols because when you don't know what A is or B and you have variables inside, you can still get rid of parentheses. It's like a, you can think of the distributed pro property as a parenthesis removal tool when you can't, like, add in or subtract inside the parentheses. Um, it's kind of cool, so it's very useful in algebra. Um, because I wouldn't know, I couldn't, you know, I could do this all the way out. I could make, I could draw 3, 2 minus 1, so I could do 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, right? But if I had A, B minus C, I don't know what A is. But I can still get rid of those parentheses, see? It's like magic. All right, and because of the symmetric property, we can reverse this whole thing. Um, I just rewrote this. I flipped it and rewrote it differently, so I can rewrite this expression this way. I have, I have common factors inside, 3. See, like A. Here you take the A out, so I take the 3 out, right? Here we go. So I'm going to write 3, 2 plus 8. I, took the, I factored out a 3, so I just did it in reverse. So let's check it. Let's see if it works. This is 6 plus 24. That's 30. Let's see if it works. Oh, 30. Nice. You know, some people walk up to this expression. They're like, okay, 3 times 2 is 6 uh, plus 8. Uh, that's 14. Ah, sorry, you're wrong, sucker. You've got to do this. You know, you've got to, you've got to do it the right way, man. All right, now, here's another one. Let's see. Um, see if I can, what can I factor out of here? Oh, look at this. They both have a negative 3 as a factor. So it's saying here, like just like this has an A, you know, common factor here. These guys have a common factor. So I can take out that negative 3 and rewrite this guy. Let's see. Negative 3 times... 2 minus 3. Let's see if it works. Well, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is negative negative 3, which is positive 3. All right. So this is saying it's positive 3. Let's check it this way. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 minus negative, three, ne negative 9 plus plus. Nice. Positive 3. Nice. That's because of the symmetric property. Now, remember... You also have to distribute opposites, so don't forget to distribute the negative sign also. This is saying 2x minus all this stuff. So what it's saying is 2x plus the opposite of all that stuff, right? I just want the opposite of everything in there. Okay, so I can write it like this, 2x, and that's the opposite. So negative 4x, right? And that becomes a negative 7, right? And some people put the pluses in there, right? You can write plus negative, plus negative if you wanted to. But I, I just keep one sign there. Again... I want the opposite, 6x and the opposite of those. Well, that becomes, oh, oops, sorry. Oh, oh what did I just do? Let me keep this right here so you can see. Um, 6x, right, plus the opposite of 2x, which is negative 2x, plus the opposite of negative 3, which is positive 3. So the opposite of that guy becomes positive. Good. Now let's do this one. Here I'm doing 5x. Now, I want the opposite of 2 times all this stuff, so I can look at it like this. What's 2 times all this stuff? Well, I have 6x. I have positive, yes, 8, good, and I have negative, yes, 10y. I know you were thinking it, but I want the opposite of all that stuff, so I want this guy to be, oh, man, so that becomes, now with the opposite of all, the opposite, the opposite, the opposite, all right, okay, so that's the way you can do it, and then some people like to take it a little bit further and make this plus the opposite, plus the opposite, same thing, subtraction is the same thing as plus the opposite. I usually like, I prefer just writing the, that, right? So, that's the way I do it, man. Um, and you can kind of do it that way, too. I hope you, uh, you know, pick something up from this. And, you know, remember, you got to, you know, distributing is very important, all right? It's, it's huge. It's, what was that? Oh, who put that picture in there? It's terrible. Oh, embarrassing.